And now we will perform the Nutcracker Suite with our papers. Uh, welcome to Mandatory Update. <laughs> Happy Holidays. <laughs>《马尔加》，a new boss in World of Warcraft's Warlords of Draenor expansion is so tough that only four guilds have been able to defeat him on hard. And then there will be a new patch, and more guilds will be able to defeat Margok on hard. News, 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 news. An update to The Sims 4 this week adds four new career paths. The four paths available are as follows: unemployed schlub addicted to vapid simulation games. Working Stiff Addicted to Vapid Simulation Games, Stuffed Shirt Executive Greenlighting Endless Sequels to Vapid Simulation Games, and Stenographer. Ciri, a descendant of a long-lost elven blood lineage, will be a playable character in The Witcher 3. Players are urged, however, not to ask Ciri to send IMs to their buddies requesting they suck their balls. It's an old joke and it's immature. Deck 13 Interactive is busy at work on a sequel to Lords of the Fallen, a Dark Souls-esque action RPG. In an interview with Eurogamer, executive producer Tomas Gopp said, We're now working on vision and concepts for Lords 2, as you can see. It's the holidays, am I right, Ian? It, probably. Time for something special? Yeah. A little... Well, some, 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 some. Some, some, So we decided to do a little Christmas-themed countdown. We present to you now the top five gaming presents you don't want this Christmas. <laughs> and number five, opening that new Game Boy only for mom to tell you you have to share it with your little sister. Oh no. Number four, all the noobs getting their Christmas consoles coming online and ruining COD for us. Stay out of my game, get off my prestige. Number three, Getting Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Ooh, yuck. Number two, getting that new Mario Kart for my Xbox 360. Thanks, Grandma. And the number one gaming present we don't want this Christmas, getting that new Game Gear only to find out Dad scrimped on the double A's. Dad, that thing takes like eight. Quit We've only got like two in Dad. the junk drawer. Gosh. I'm buying triple A's. She's oh, a scrimper man. too. Everybody's scrimping on these batteries don't for the Don't scrimp game on Christmas, gear. Dad. Well, Ian, I hope you don't get scrimped on this Christmas. Me too. And we hope that you, the viewers, don't get scrimped on this Christmas we also. We didn't have time to make a real segment for the show this week. It's a busy week. Flappy Bird was the fifth most searched for term worldwide of 2014. It placed above ISIS terrorist group Ferguson, Ukraine, and the Sochi Olympics, but placed behind the World Cup, Ebola, and ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Robin Williams was number one. I wonder what would happen if Flappy Bird were to spend over 50 years pumping large amounts of creativity and humor into society only to see it have zero positive effect and then give up on the human race and kill itself. How high up the search ladder would the little bird fly then? Would it take first place? Little Big Planet 3 is adding a $6 frozen character pack that includes outfits and parts to model Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and more. You know, the success of licensing frozen products is astounding. People will consume anything with the brand frozen attached to it. Just the other night, I'm partying with these two honeys. I throw down a standard eight ball. I tell them it's a First class booger sugar from Arendelle. Before you know it, they're snorting it up like it's gangbusters. And I whip out a plain old run of the mill carrot. Tell them it's Olaf's vibrating nose. They went hog wild for it. My two cents. The first episode of Life is Strange, an episodic adventure game that's being described as The Walking Dead meets Twin Peaks, will hit digital download on January 30th. This coming-of-age tale revolves around a time-traveling teenager who is searching for her missing friend. I feel like I've seen this story before. A story about a high school girl with terrible skin and a fascination for sci-fi with no friends. Wow. Sony has a new contest that will give the winner an opportunity to buy a PlayStation 4 Anniversary Edition. It's another example of the odd retail measures Sony has gone to with the exclusive console. This time it's a five-step process that among other things involves solving Twitter riddles and going to a secret website to fill out a form and then just unbuttoning your shirt at the top. Just one button. Actually, how about a few more? Yeah, just take it off. If you want a PS4 or not, 
Yeah, you do. Now take that peanut butter and spread it on your nipples. Excuse me? You don't want to do that? Have you seen No Man's Sky? That's what I thought. Now the fire ants. In 2012, some guy received jail time for punching a hole through a priceless Monet painting. Now you too can show Impressionism what for by playing Punch a Monet, a browser game that lets its patrons decimate Claude's work. Like my dad always used to say, if you want to punch a Monet, you're probably standing too close. For $850, you too can be the proud owner of Project Triforce's new Arkham Origins inspired Batman cowl. Made of polystone, the cowl weighs 35 pounds, just like Batman's real cowl. That must be why his voice sounds so strained all the time. There's also LED lighting giving the illusion of a glowing face beneath, just like Batman's real glowing face. I just thought he exfoliated. I feel like I don't know who Batman is anymore. Oh right, he's Bruce Wayne. Characters from Street Fighter 2 and Devil May Cry are going to be costumes in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate when it launches next year. Monster Hunter fans responded, What are these? Costumes from good games? Uh, no thanks, back to Monster Hunter. A Pac-Man themed restaurant is coming to Chicago. Level 257 is a self-described high-end dining experience complete with your standard barcade fare. Arcade cabinets, bowling lanes, ping pong, free-to-play board games, and a giant yellow thing that won't stop eating. And no, I'm not talking about you, Chad. Though the feature has been delayed several times, Rockstar Games now promises that online heists will be available in early 2015. I don't know, man. Can we trust Rockstar? Listen, I've done jobs with Rockstar in the past. Rockstar's cool. Rockstar don't seem so cool to me right now. What? You want to fucking go in there alone? No! What? No, goddammit. I'm just saying I'm worried is all. Let me worry about Rockstar. You worry about your shit. My shit is fine. I know. We cool? We cool. Bandai Namco made waves earlier this year when it changed its name from Namco Bandai. Now, the company has filed for a change of name once more. As of April 1st, company subsidiaries will be rebranded from Bandai Namco Games to Bandai Namco Entertainment. Man, they need to work this stuff out. They changed their name more than that one singer with the really high voice. Uh, you know the one. Uh, the one whose skin changed color and, and he probably molested all those kids. The dead one. Prince. <laughs> oh god! That's inappropriate! Mojang and Telltale Games have partnered to create Minecraft's story mode. The episodic adventure won't establish any official lore or rules for the Minecraft world. However, the game will fulfill demands for a fiction set in the Minecraft universe. The possibilities here are endless. It can literally be anything, so it'll probably be about zombies! Following in the Kardashian footsteps, Lindsay Lohan has released her own video game called Look at me, I'm able to laugh at myself, can I please be relevant again now? You burnt, Lindsay Lohan. You burnt. But you know, at some point this girl is just really trying to turn her life around and yeah. just pushing her back down. It's like burning something that's already burned to a crisp. Yeah, she's just a pile of cigarette ashes yeah. at this point. At last week's Capcom Cup, community members Mike Ross, James Chen, and David Ultra David Philip Graham got together for an intervention of sorts to help their friend Peter Combo Fiend Rossus. Said Mike Ross, we've just... We care about Peter, you know, and we've just got to get him off those combos. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't eat. Sometimes he disappears for days at a time. The intervention went all right. I mean, maybe we got him down from combo fiend to, like, combo enthusiast or something, but there's still a long way to go. Filler wide shot. Though the original studio that made the games closed in 2009, Dovetail Games is releasing Microsoft Flight Simulator Cross Steam Edition, an all-new entry in the aviation franchise. Expect more than 80 missions and almost 25,000 airports and future DLC. I don't want to get you all too excited, but our preliminary calculations suggest that 25,000 airports would have somewhere in the neighborhood of 375,000 bathrooms. So, analysis shows that PlayStation Plus delivered $1,349 worth of free games to users over the last year, whereas Xbox Live's Games with Gold only gave out $584 worth of free games. And by the same logic, Netflix is giving me $80,000 of free movies, and my car payments give me $26,000 worth of free car. The Smithsonian is adding one of the unearthed copies of Atari's E.T. to its collection of historical artifacts. A representative from the museum explained why. Said technician Drew Robarge, 
The cartridge is one of the defining artifacts of the Atari crash and of the era. In addition to the crash, the cartridge can tell us many stories. The ongoing challenge of making a good film to video game adaptation, the decline of Atari, the end of an era for video game manufacturing, and the video game cartridge life cycle. This cartridge, you see, is from the Atari era and is a shining example of the crash of the Atari era. Atari, which thrived in an earlier era, had a crash, and this cartridge tells that story. But more than that, this is a cartridge from another era, an era before the Atari crash. And we think that having something like this cartridge that can tell the story of the Atari era crash is a defining artifact of such an era, of such a crash. Atari. Free-to-play MMO Transformers Universe is shutting down. No reason for the cancellation has been given, though many point to the death of Ironhide and the lasting impact it had on the Autobot race. Wait, they're shutting down Transformers Universe? No! 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 Fuck! God! No! It was my one thing! It was my one thing! Do you have other stuff? No! God! God! There will be other Transformers games, like you know that, right? There won't! There won't! It won't have... It won't have the same magic! It won't have the same magic! Fuck! It's over! We should it's over. Thanks for watching. Do you want to be here for this? No. I'm too upset. Goodbye. Just... Just... Play Transformers Universe while you can. I don't think any new subscribers... Life is short and I, precious! I don't think new subscribers can join you. You can't? I don't think so. Fuck! Good night! Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays! Ian. What? What? Good night and good game. Thing. And then there will be a new patch and more guilds will be able to defeat Margok on hard. News, 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 news. How hard is he? He's so hard, uh... Sounds like a fun weekend. Flappy Bird! My hair was doing something. It wasn't doing anything. It probably wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Ever since the elbows blew out on my shirt, the sleeves have been longer. Yeah, because your shirt's um, slinking down. Slinking down. I just got long, gangly arms. Yeah. Like the... they don't make they don't make a suit jacket no. that can fit these I like man the monsters arms. Monsters in Bloodborne. Yeah. Ah. Anyway. Anyway. The company has now filed a change for now. What do I keep adding words? Why am I? Why am I adding all these words? words? See what I want to speak. It makes me fuck up the jokes, and then I can't say the jokes right. You're being really spooky with all your changes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes, I, when I feel too spooky, I add words. Ian, just to be yourself. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Don't tell me how to live my slow, life. Slow down. I can't do. I Chris should slow I down the I joke. Can't do Christopher Walken impression. I thought it was fine. Uh, it could uh, use uh, some work. Maybe a little work, but I think you're on the right track. Am I using my arms enough? Perhaps a little too much. Uh, sometimes the arms, uh, they're there, but they're not spastic. You, they're. <laughs> I feel like I am not using my arms at all now. <laughs> it's like it's like, it's like, like Mr. Bean. It's like a walrus. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm like, not I'm using, like my, using arms. my arms. How do the humans use their arms <laughs> when they speak to each other?
When I look at Melissa McCarthy, I think we lost John Candy for this. <laughs> oh, God. When I look at Good Charlotte, I think we lost John Candy for this. <laughs> When I listen to This American Life, I think we lost John Candy for this. When I listen to This American Life and Ira Glass talking about stuff, I'm like, what's this guy's problem with Bruce Willis and Unbreakable? Mr. Glass. <laughs> I just see you like scarfing this bread the whole time. I couldn't, I almost cracked up. This is actually good. <laughs> what is that, like pumpernickel? What is that? Just wheat? whole wheat. Whole wheat. But it's a good wheat. It's a dark wheat. I like when bread has a real dark wheat flavor. Uh -huh. It's a full-bodied bread. Yeah. Sony has a new contest that will give the winner an opportunity to buy a PlayStation 4 Anniversary Edition. It's another example uh. of the odd retail measure Sony has gone to with the exclusive console. This time, it's a five-step process that, among other things, involves solving Twitter riddles, bread all going over your to lips. a secret <laughs> website to fill out a form, and then just unbuttoning your shirt at the top. Just one button. Actually, how about a few more? Yeah, now just take it off. Do you want a PS4 or not? Yeah, you do. Now take that peanut butter and spread it on your nipples. Excuse me? You don't want to do that? Have you seen No Man's Sky? That's what I thought. Now the fire ants. <laughs> It was like Tyler Perry doing, a, <laughs> doing a, a couch, <laughs> casting couch. Mm, yeah, you were. Now the fire ants. Mm. <laughs> now we're gonna watch Meet the Browns. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Cross is angry. I'm a serious action star. Alex, I'm cross those legs. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, Jombie, the chocolate icing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is too decadent. $584. $584.60. $64. How do you measure the worth of free games? Measure in love! It doesn't make it in the show. It won't if you don't want it to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Centered, focused, energy. The Smith ah! Stamp? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. You did your whole little, you did your whole little warm up thing. <laughs>